Season's greetings, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite cartoon character. There will be a lot of NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and it's PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and some cream puffs, and enjoy this ASMR. Hey listener, me and Cake are gonna go on another adventure and just, um, fight some more bad guys because Prince Gumball told me to, so, um, you have the treehouse all to yourself. Do you need anything before we go? Of course we can stop by the Candy Kingdom and get more food for us. I mean, I don't know what we should have. Yeah, I guess some more spaghetti. Maybe if Gumball has any, maybe he can bake us some. Because you know me and Cake can't bake. No offense, Cake. I mean, your cooking is pretty good. It's just, sometimes the pasta never cooked very well. Usually it's soggy. Anyways, um, we're gonna head out now. Don't invite any boys. Oh, I know. <laughs> See you later, listener. Love you, sis. Mwah. Hey there, princess. <laughs> Sorry if I meant to scare you. <laughs> so I just noticed Fiona and Cake are gone. You're all alone, aren't you? <laughs> Good. At least I get to spend time with my little princess for... When will they be back? Oh, okay. They're on a little adventure. <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for your sister. But hey, at least she left me some treasure left behind. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Just reading. <laughs> no, I haven't been standing outside ever since Fiona and Cake left. Okay, I kind of felt very desperate just to see you again. Yes, I did sneak through the window. <laughs> Where else should I go? The front door? <laughs> No, that's a little too, um, trespassing sort of way. So I have to take the window. Well, now that Fiona and Cake are gone, what do you say we have a little bit of fun, princess? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, how about I take that book away from you? Oh, come on, you already left the bookmark right there. So you're good. <laughs> so, what should we do while I'm here? Hmm. I mean, we can either kiss, play some video games, make out, you know, get freaky. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't peer pressure you. But maybe just some kissing and, uh... Blood sucking. <laughs> Fine. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm more into drinking red things like from a strawberry, an apple, even one of Gumball's cream puffs. Mm, really sweet. Alright, we can play some video games. Where's that adorable little um, video game guy? <laughs> I'll go grab it for you. Well, hey there, Bimo. Go away, you monster! <laughs> Looks like Bimo's not okay with me. Maybe besides video games, we can get to the makeout part. Oh, come on, listener. You know I've been dying, well, living, to ever make out with you. And plus, you do like how I kiss you. Maybe better than Gumball. Oh, you never kissed Gumball. 
Well, that's good. I mean, did you ever kiss another prince? No? <laughs> well, today's my lucky day. Because I'm going to claim you as mine tonight, listener. Mm-hmm. Now, come sit on my lap, and then we can get this started. Huh? <laughs> sure, we can do it in your room. At least it's a lot more quieter and more private. And easy access to leave through the window. That's actually where I came from. Mm-hmm. All right, let's head to your room. Hmm? Any gigs? Not really. I was gonna play a show at Lumpy Space Prince's, um, birthday party, but I'd rather chill with you than you're not there. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna do something afterwards, after a party, so it's fine. I think he's chilling with Turtle, Slime, and Ghost Prince. Mm-hmm. Now this is a lot better. Now come here, princess. Don't worry, I won't bite you. Only if I ask you to, if you want to be immortal with me. Plus, uh, I think it's not fair for you to leave Fiona and Cake. Of course, they're your family. I don't want you to leave your family just for me. I can wait for another year for you. Maybe 50 or 60. It depends. But I'll always wait for you. <laughs> Come here, princess. Come to your vampire king. That's it. <laughs> You have no idea how bad I want to taste your lips. Yeah, I miss how sweet they were. How they tasted like strawberries. Or cherry. Something red. <laughs> oh, you know me so well, listener. <clears throat> Listener, I want you to trust me. I won't be biting your neck, but your scent is driving me crazy. How about a little nibble on it? Come on, just a little bit. I promise. Just a little lick. Don't worry. It'll just hurt a little bit. Uh, see? Just a little prick. <laughs> I was right, you do taste really sweet. <laughs> That's all I needed. Thank you. No. Where were we? <laughs> Let's continue. Huh? <laughs> Looks like there's more blood dripping from you. Let me lick that up for you. <laughs> Oh, you're such a good little girl. Mm. <laughs> there. If Fiona ever asked you if I did bite you, let's say... Hmm. Oh, a mosquito try to bite you. Or a very poisonous spider. They can make you bleed. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. You don't mind if I kiss that area? 
just to get a little bit more of that blood. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I did say a little bit, but I'm not going to drain you. <laughs> Let me kiss it better. Yeah, you got to tilt your head a little. Good girl. Oh, listener. <laughs> Here we go. Stop bleeding. Okay, if you did feel some tongue, yeah, I was licking it a bit. <laughs> it, at least it stopped bleeding. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that was really fun. Listen, we're home. <laughs> oh, glob. Looks like I gotta go now. At least I did get some fun time kissing you and getting some blood from you. How about we meet each other somewhere? You know, when you're all alone. Would Fiona allow that? <laughs> then it's a deal. Hmm, maybe stop by my place. In that cave over there. Mm-hmm. How about tomorrow? <sighs> Come on. What about Tuesday? <laughs> Very well, then. Tuesday it is. Well, I'll see you on Tuesday, baby. Don't want your bad little boy waiting. Yo, listener, we're back. And yes, Prince Gumball actually made us spaghetti. So just letting you know. Are you okay, listener? Uh, looks like you got a mosquito bite on your neck. Hmm, Kate, can you get some bandages? Thank you. Are you alright? What have you been doing all day? You've been reading, haven't you? Well, <laughs> I'm not big on book smarts, but hey, at least you're the ones with the brains, so that's completely okay. Also, um... Hey, why is Bemo hiding in the corner? Big vampire monster came! Try to bite listener! Bemo traumatize! Bemo traumatize! Shutting down! Vampire monster? Don't tell me Marshall Lee came here. He did, didn't he? <laughs> Listener, I, you, you never told me you and Marshall are that close. Why, of course. I mean, it, I don't really mind him just chilling with you, as long as you two are not making out or anything. Well, good. Well, the spaghetti is on the table. Cake is prepping it up, so see you down there. <laughs> Bemo shall expose your secret to Fiona and Cake soon. But for now, speak it!